Hey guys, Red Pen Running here. Welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is an exclusive video that I'm going to be creating for the Antminer Z15 Pro. How to set up your Bitmain Antminer Z15 Pro. I'm going to go through all the specs, talk about the power requirements needed for this ASIC miner, and also show you the exact power consumption that this ASIC miner will take at the wall. And so, here is the beautiful ASIC miner itself. When you first unbox this, if you decide to get one, it will come in a Bitmain Antminer box just like this. And once you open it up, the inside will have a very thick protective foam on top and then an anti-static bag all around the ASIC miner and then another thick foam at the bottom to protect the bottom side. So very good packaging here from Bitmain. Depending on your power infrastructure and your cooling and your environment, ASIC mining with one of these is going to output a lot of heat. So you gotta be mindful of your environment when you are gonna be mining with something like this. So obviously for testing purposes, for me, I just have it in an open test bench area like this, but for you, you most likely wanna have this near, you know, maybe a window if you're a residential miner or if you're an industrial miner, you probably already have that figured out. But talking as a home residential miner, for anyone that's watching this, you're gonna need power infrastructure that will power this Z15 Pro at 2,560 watts. So that will not typically run on a North American plug like this, which is 120 volt, 110 to 120 volt, which is a 15 amp circuit, so maximum is about 1800 watts. So you will not be able to run that on a typical plug like this. So it is recommended to get a 240 volt, 30 amp circuit dedicated for ASIC mining. One of these circuits can go up to about 7200 watts max, but at 80% rule, which you wanna go 80% rule, is about 56, 5700 watts. So please consult a certified electrician when it comes to running one of these types of circuits in your own house. As well, you're gonna need two C13 to C14 power cables, as well as a power distribution unit, a PDU, that is going to be plugged into a 240 volt 30 amp circuit, which then goes into a power distribution unit, and then you'll need two C13, C14 power cables like so, uh, to power your Bitmain ASIC miner or a Z15 Pro just like this. And on top of all that, you will need network connectivity for your ASIC miner as well. So this is just a simple internet cable, which you'll probably have at home, like a home router, or maybe you have ports run in every single room, such as this, then you'll be golden. There is no Wi-Fi on these types of miners, so hard line wire is obviously preferred. Okay, so next step really is now we're just gonna plug it in. So let's plug in the two C13 to C14 power cables and let's just do that right now just to show you guys, just like so. Okay, we got our ethernet all plugged in. Okay, I'm gonna move this a bit forward because uh, it's gonna pump out a decent amount of heat here as you guys can see in the back and there are two 120 mil fans in the front here. There's also three, I believe, 20 mil fans for the PSU. But these two fans are what providing the cooling for the hash boards inside this Z15 Pro. I wanna get the IP address. So we're using something called Advanced IP Scanner. It's a free download. Just Google it, advancedipscanner.com, and you'll see here that we'll get the IP address here. Alternatively, you can log into your router in order to get your IP address of the Bitmain Antminer. And you can see the host name here is Antminer. So you're gonna type in the IP address into the web browser and you should get a login screen and it is gonna be root and then root. And I actually already changed the password, which I highly recommend everyone doing. And I actually have the ASIC miner already mining. I'm gonna show you guys though the next step that you'll need to do before I change the mining pool and get your miner name and put in your password, all that stuff. Before I do any of that, I like to check to see if there is a firmware upgrade for the Z15 or any ASIC miner for that matter. So we go to the Bitmain firmware website. Right on their website, they'll see here that there is a firmware download. Uh, looks like it's just the release version. So it looks like we do not need the firmware update. But in case you do see a newer version, which you can verify at the bottom. Okay, it says here May 29th, uh, 2023. It does show here as well. All right, uh, looks like June 29th, but 
pretty sure that's the release version it says here. First product release firmware. So there's only one firmware uh, for the Z15 Pro. Now, the next step is to connect your mining pool that you wanna mine to, your wallet address, whichever coin you wanna mine to, and the password. So, there is a couple of different things here to look at. You know, there's a, a bunch of different mining pools out there. There's also a bunch of different profitable uh, coins out there to mine. Uh, depending on which coin you wanna mine, you're gonna need to figure out uh, which wallet that you're gonna download to mine said coin. So whether that, that is Pirate Chain, Komodo, Horizon, or maybe you wanna mine to NiceHash. I did just try mining the NiceHash and it did not work. So maybe they're gonna have support for this very soon as of recording, it's beginning of July. So maybe in a couple weeks, maybe later, they'll have support for the Z15 Pro. But right now I am able to get Pirate Chain to work and that is actually the most in terms of profitability, the most profitable. At 10 cent kilowatt hour, it's generating about $4.38 a day, currently mining Pirate Chain. But there are a bunch of other coins that we could mine, Zcash, Hush, Horizon, Komodo. So if you wanna mine those, you just have to simply download their wallet, get a wallet address ready, then you're gonna to wanna to choose the mining pool that you wanna mine uh, depending on coin. So example, Pirate Chain. I'm mining to coolmine.top. I'm just uh, solo mining here. Just gonna see how that goes on Pirate Chain. And you can see here, you copy and paste your uh, wallet address here and also the pool address. So you're gonna get that from the mining pool that you are deciding to mine to. And most likely, you should see uh, when you type onto the mining pool here, you go to how to start, you should be able to see the mining pool stratum and also the port needed to add to the web GUI of your ASIC miner. So we're just gonna, you just simply copy that and you're gonna paste it into the mining address here. You can add stratum plus TCP over here if you wanted to, but it's not needed if it's just, just like that regularly. If you're gonna do SSL, you probably do wanna add that in. So then you put in your wallet address that you got from the wallet that you downloaded, period, and then the worker name. Make sure you have the period uh, depending on the mining pool, some pools do not support uh, dot worker name. So it, it really depends, but that's most common. You're gonna put that in and you should see that here and then password X or one, two, three and hit save. And you should see in a couple minutes connected to the mining pool. All right, so you guys can see here, the Z15, it's actually blaring right beside me right now. You can see the hashboard information here, temperature, and fan speed at the bottom here as well. And uh, yeah, it's connected, no problem. Looks like it's mining just perfectly for the past almost two hours here, just for this demonstration for you guys. All right, so that is the setup process for the Bitmain Antminer Z15 Pro. But anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you.